I legit called out Victor being unkickable, being a bad idea nearly a year ago from my how to fix twins video. Is making Victor unkickable. No, they should not do this. They don't need such a giant buff like this. Okay. <laughs> Um, so Behavior released the developer update towards the Twins rework PTB, where Victor no longer latches onto survivors who are put into the dying state, Victor latches onto survivors who are injured by his pounce, and Charlotte no longer gains haste when Victor is launched onto a survivor. And Lindsay made a video one year ago about how to fix them. I've made a list of everything that she's mentioned. And I want to see how much behavior has done and what they could do more of when it comes to the number one twins players recommendations. Mm -hmm. The first problem that Lindsay and behavior both recognize is that the twins are underplayed. When behavior revealed killer data in January 2022, twins had the lowest pick rate at 1.15%. We got more stats in September of 2022. Twins pick rate had dropped to a sad 0.68%. I actually did a poll on my Twitter asking why people don't enjoy and or play the twins regularly, and the majority of people chose the slow switch and clunky feeling to them. Behavior's remedy towards this was to allow Victor to be unkickable when landing a hit on a survivor. Obviously that led them to be too OP and was a cause for revision, but I presume that Behavior thinks that a massive overhaul on the killer's ability would be like one of the only ways to increase their use rather than just a small type of tweak which we get into with victor switching it's the switch time that is the major issue currently taking three seconds when switching to charlotte at any time switching to victor is near instant however it has been this way since the release however a few months after twins came out in April 2021, they actually got a major nerf. When Victor downed a survivor, he would be kickable for 3 seconds, before being able to switch or move again. This got increased to 5 seconds. The reason the developers did this was to widen the window for counterplay when attempting to down multiple survivors with Victor, and to make them slug less. This change actually made the opposite happen. Twin slugged even more after this change. This is due to the time increase to switch back to Charlotte instead of staying on Victor before it would take 3 seconds to down and 3 seconds to go back to Charlotte. Now it takes 5 seconds and in 3 seconds make it a total of 8 seconds before you can simply go back to Charlotte and pick up. As a longer switch time disincentivized hooking, it only made slugging worse. This is why Lindsay requested a faster switch time, um, which behavior has gone through with. When it comes to changes in regards to holding Victor hostage, when a survivor will not remove the boy from their back, a lot of the community thought there should be more of a punishment for this, but according to Lindsay... In terms of holding Victor hostage, I really like the aspect of seeing his aura and forcing a 3v1 situation. However, I see the complaints from people saying it's not punishing enough to hold him hostage. I feel like adding Hindred or Exhaustion could be an option. However, I think Victor causing the survivor to go down on the floor after holding for too long is a little bit too strong and not necessary. I'm not a particularly a twins main, but I would, I'd wonder maybe if something like that would be applied to the survivor after a certain period of time, rather than baseline across the board. Just intuitively, it feels a little too strong. I think the biggest and most obvious change is the switch time, as weighing 8 seconds to proceed to hook the survivor is way too punishing. How exactly did I change this? Well, this is some of my ideas. When you down with Victor, instead of waiting 5 seconds, there should be an option to instantly switch to Charlotte instead. You could either sacrifice Victor to do this action and put him on a slightly longer cooldown, or make it so Victor gets locked out of switching for 10 seconds or so. To thus disincentivize overly slugging and snowballing too hard. A lot of the aforementioned changes seem to be Twins ease of use killer buffs. As clunkiness, cooldowns, and nerfs make Twins players feel like they need to slug more. By having these changes, you incentivize more hooking. If it feels better and is easier to play more fun, people will gravitate towards that rather than playing more problematically. On DVD Mobile, when you attach with Victor, you switch back to Charlotte instantly and get a somewhat speed boost that feels fantastic. I feel seeing this in the core game would feel good. 
You could slightly lower the switch time to two seconds or a second and a half, so it just feels nicer and less punishing when you are simply just moving Victor. It appears behavior has done that by reducing transition duration from three seconds to 1.5. The haste effect, on the other hand, has been removed and will likely be revisited in a future rework. Another change twins need is the ability to recall Victor after he has been placed. But waiting 90 seconds for him to die is very silly. If you do misplace Victor and want him back, maybe possibly 20 or 30 seconds, and then you can recall him again. That way if you do misplace him, you get slightly punished, but not as severely. It seems Behavior has implemented this, where Charlotte now has the ability to recall Victor whenever she desires. Let's talk about add-ons. You can see with the picture of my tier list that the majority are very useless and uninteresting. Most of these can be fixed by making any status effect Victor applies when pulled off instead apply when pulled or recalled by the Twins player themselves. Status effects by the Twins are usually triggered by a survivor crushing Victor, being in control of when the effect activates. So what Lindsay is suggesting is also allowing these status effects to apply with a Victor recall to put the control of when the status effect activates more in the hands of the twins rather than the survivors. As far as the add-on changes go, they've only applied this concept to hemorrhage and broken with Victor hits. Let's talk about their most popular and one of their strongest add-ons, the Toy Sword. The reason this add-on is used so much and actually got a nerf before due to its play rate is because it feels so good to use. The add-on is nowhere near OP I would love to see this add-on become base kit. From the looks of it, Behavior has made this add-on base kit, as well as tuning down the original to compensate for the changes. The one add-on though that must be removed is the cat statue. The add-on is a copy-paste of Nurse's plaid flannel, so it doesn't work for Victor at all. If you're too close to a wall while charging your pounce, it completely blinds you with a white light. It also doesn't even accurately show where you will land or hit. Just remove it please, Behavior. And I could see how some complications could arise when it comes to particular hitboxes, where sometimes a victor bounces or may slide off an object. It may need a fair bit of tweaking to take into account twins physics if they were to rework it. I feel the main change they would need to make is instant killing victor when he is left under a hook. This is a bit of an oversight on behavior's part as you cannot switch under the hook, but if you leave victor under the hook before hooking the survivor, he will stay there. It's a big complaint from the survivor side when playing versus twins. This had been already been fixed with Behavior's anti-camp feature. If someone places Victor too close to a hook, they can self-unhook themselves. In addition to that, Behavior also made it slower to switch between siblings while near a hooked survivor to disincentivize tunneling and camping. One last nerf I feel they could make to balance out all my previous buffs is making Victor's cooldown slightly longer. Currently, Victor takes 6 seconds to come back. This is the only part of Twins kit that is super fast and feels great. But on the flip side, many survivors say Victor comes back way too fast after kicking him and it feels unfair. If they were to change this, I would suggest increasing it to either 8 or 10 seconds. Behavior seems to implement this 1 to 1 by increasing Victor's cooldown time from 6 seconds to 10 seconds. Keep in mind that this also comes with a reduced time to unbind Victor by 25% as well. The biggest complaint about the twins is slugging. If Base Unbreakable does come into the game, this will make slugging for a 4k a lot harder to do. I do have a theory that when the twins rework does eventually come out, Base Kit Unbreakable will come out with it. I think this was actually Behavior's plan. Unfortunately, when Base Unbreakable was tested, the reception towards this was poor. You see, Base Kit Unbreakable would have been implemented as a means to make slugging harder, thus in turn trying to get killers to hook survivors more. The problem that came with this change, as this would make playing killer more difficult, and would normalize more tunneling and proxy camping as an effect. This reminds me to the sentiment where Behavior decided to nerf Twin's cooldown times in order to make slugging less viable. By slapping a nerf on, it only made the problems worse. This is why I feel like if Behavior wants to incentivize a community to play differently, it should make it easier to play more fun, more accessible, and tread down the path of least resistance. One suggestion I've seen mentioned several times is making Victor unkickable when he misses or when he downs people. No, they should not do this. No matter how frustrating it is to get kicked as Victor, 
Making Victor unkickable would make him very annoying to play against. Hey, buddy. Right here, I think you should be able to kick Victor. Because, like, I, I just injured three people, and there's, like, no punishment. <laughs> Another change I do not want to see is making Victor AI. It's nice to be rewarded for playing well as Victor and not hoping an AI does a good play for you. The only AI-like ability I would like to see for Victor is maybe to be able to hold a slug down so they either couldn't recover or crawl away while you walk over there with Charlotte. I just feel adding any other kind of AI on either Charlotte or Victor has the very high likelihood of breaking the killer even more with bugs, and we already have a killer with an AI power. I think Behavior actually tested this in the PTB, and the only downside was that the survivor in the dying state could not return to the injured state until Victor was crushed. Interesting though, as her implementation would restrict survivor movement and recovery rate, Behavior has not experimented that yet. Just, just to point that out. Lindsay also mentions a couple fun add-ons she would like to see, such as maybe a Victor Charlotte position switch add-on, increasing Victor pounce range, and maybe an add-on that allows Victor to break walls, kind of like Demogorgon or Pallets. Since Behavior mentions that they may revisit the twins in a future update, I feel it's important to highlight the different types of things they can do with them. It has taken them three years since the announcement of them wanting to rework the twins to actually put in a couple quality of life, different tweaks. So I'm gonna put Lindsay's YouTube channel and original YouTube video down in the description if you guys would like to check her content out and let me know what you guys think about this. I hope the video was quite informative, so peace guys.